Hi stamping friends! This is Laura Zaraza with laurazstamps.com and today I have for you this fun idea. I know it's been a while since I've posted but I have for you this fun idea using our free stamp set from Celebration. Uh, hey chick! <laughs> Here's the stamp set. It's kind of a cute set. And it's free with a, when you place a, an order of $50 or more, and you get to choose from a whole bunch of things in the Celebration catalog. This is one of them. I chose mine in wood, um, because sometimes I use them on other projects besides paper. So here we go. We're going to get started and use this guy right here. So, moving forward, I'm going to use Tip Top Taupe Paper. This is part of our In Colors. And I'm going to use this awesome hardwood. Love this guy. This is the clear mount and I'm using it on the clear block F. I'm just going to take it and ink it up. I'm going to move my name here. And you just take it, place your paper on top. Take your scrap, rub it, perfect way of doing things, and there you go. All right, now I'm going to clean it off. I'm using early espresso here, and I'm going to ink this up with. Oh, I'm just going to say we're going to use early espresso. Ah, here we go. And in this case, I'm just going to place this right here. This is going to be my window pieces. And there's the dark piece right here. I'll hold it up for you. Okay. All right, now I'll just clean that off again. Now we're going to be cutting the pieces out. I want to cut out my windows and I'm using the layered squares and for this particular piece here I did use this one. Let's see, it is not quite, let's see, one, one, two, three, one and three eighths by one and three eighths just to cut out the windows here. Now in this particular card I did make this one a smaller window here. That was by choice. I made this one bigger, the middle, and smaller. But on the card I'm going to be making it's going to all be this size right here, one and three eighths. So we're using that particular piece. In which case I'm going to be cutting out here, here, and here. Now I will share with you when you're cutting this out with the Big Shot, you do not, you want to make sure that your piece is open like this on your uh, Big Shot piece, laying it on the uh, adapter and placing it like that. Otherwise, if it's like this, you are cutting out both pieces of the card like I did twice here. I didn't learn just once, I had to do it again. So we don't want that. And I'm looking for my card here. Let's see. I already had one done for me ahead of time so that I would not make a mistake on camera for you. So what I did is I just cut these out individually with the Big Shot. Alright. The next item that I did was cut out windows again. And I used this and the next size up. And I just framed them like that and cut them out and here we are, are my three window pieces already done for us. All right. 
So what I'm going to do here is just glue these on. And you can use different adhesive. I'm going to use the fine tip glue pen. And I'm just going to get a nice, you can use the green glue or even snail. Either one will work. I'm going to see which way the green is going. I'm going to have it go up and down like I chose right here. Okay, just like that. Okay, oops. All right. And it's nice because, unlike snail, with this glue I can actually open it up just a little bit. I can pull it back off if I've made a slight mistake. There we go. Now the last one. All right. Now the trick is just getting the little pokey guy back in. How many of you have been using this? Do you like it? The hardest part is trying to get this back in. All right. That's so it doesn't seal back up. Okay, so we've got our windows. Now I've already worked on my chickens and I put them over here on watercolor paper and I was coloring them with our brand new watercolor pencils. Oh my gosh, these are fabulous. Wonderful, and they match our colors which is wonderful. I know if you've had them from years ago, they didn't quite uh, work with our color line. These do. These are actually, you got Real Red, Calypso Coral, Pumpkin Pie, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point, Rich Razzleberry, Melon Mambo, Early Espresso. You got your basic gray, basic black, and even white. That's kind of cool. And as of this moment, uh, February... Fifth, I believe they are in back order. Uh oh, they were really popular. They've only been out a month. <laughs> We've exceeded them, but they'll come back, I promise. So anyway, what I did here was color them in, and you can go ahead and use uh, your ink wells if you want and color them up and do it that way and color your chickens. That's perfectly fine. Uh, or you can use markers. So I already colored them up, cut them out, and here are my chickens right here. Kind of fun. And I used blender pens to color these guys in. And I just kind of bring in some of the color, even after I've done this, which was a long time ago. I did these like about a week ago. You can actually color them in a little bit. So what we have here, this guy will go right up here. And this guy We'll go down here, and I'm probably going to be cutting them off. <laughs> so right now, I've decided I'm going to use glue dots. All right. Like that. Perfect. All right, because I know it's going to be too big here. I am going to trim off my chicken. Oh, it's a bummer. <laughs> there goes his feet. No! All right. And then on the lower part of them, I'm just adding my glue dots. Whoops. Some strings there. There we go, like that. Perfect. And now we got the big blue. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna trim off a little bit. Hmm, let's see. Add this, another one here. Okay, I wanna have him poking out a little bit. Okay, 
There we go. See? They're sitting there perfectly. That's how they, the inside looks. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is I already cut out an extra piece of the tip top toe paper and that's going to sit inside here and I cut it like an eighth of an inch short and then I used this guy right here from one of my other stamp sets let me grab it oh let's see here uh, oh here we go uh, this may or may not uh, have been carried over. I can't remember. But it's the Ghoulish Grunge. And I'm using the chicken wire from that. That was from our fall and holiday catalog. And we're going to use some tip-top taupe here. So we're just going to add chicken wire behind it. Like that. And you could go darker. I could have gone espresso just to have it behind there. In fact, I still might. I'm going to clean him up and put him away. I'll go ahead and start again with the early espresso. Okay. And I'm just going to add my tape, my snail adhesive, and you could add glue dots if you wanted. I'm going to even cover the chickens. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is place this right inside. And lay it down. Ta-da! Nice. Now it looks perfectly covered. Now, on... This one here, I did add greens, and you could certainly do that with a marker, but in this case, I actually used one of my old stamp sets. And that would be Sheltering Tree. And look, there's some grass there. Now, there are other sets that you could use that with. There we go. my little block and I'm going to use garden green and I'm just going to add my greens and go back on them make them heavy <laughs> there you go and there's the little grass and basically what I did with Hey Chick, which is one of the other stamps in there, is just cut out, I just stamped Hey Chick, which is one of the greetings in the set. And I just put it on the watercolor paper and trimmed it out and placed it right there. Now in this one I'm not going to put any kind of greeting whatsoever, I'll just put a greeting inside. And that's it. And that's basically how I did my chickens. So as you can see, different colors, different windows, but all turned out just about the same here. So I hope you liked. I'm going to put uh, dimensions, uh, all the, everything you need to know instructions on my blog at laurazstamps.com. And you can check me out for more fun ideas. Thanks for visiting me, and I hope you enjoyed this great tutorial today on how to do these cute windows with the chickens. Thanks for visiting. Talk to you soon.